All right, everybody, here we are again. Remember this U.S. General? Yeah, the one with all the dents in it. <laughs> dents are still there. It's been working pretty good. You can tell. Just a little update here. Um, so this whole, you know, in the previous video, I showed this whole front, this whole top box was tweaked, and I had disputed and everything. And a lot of people were like, "Oh my God!" Blah blah blah. It's like. Yep, it's there for the consumer for a reason, so, but you can hear the ball bearings in this one because the, you can hear, you hear it, um, regardless, whatever. So, I needed, a uh, more, more toolbox space because my toolbox is full and I required more tools, um, than I have space for. Some new, new things like the, uh extendable ratchets here those come in a lot of handy especially i just did a, a um cups on a 6.0 exploder power stroke because ford doesn't know how to make a truck that doesn't break every fifty thousand miles like i told the guy should have just bought a cummins <laughs> anyway so all the drawers are full overflowing you know i got fucking shit stacked over there in their cases milwaukee stuff i just picked up these milwaukee ratcheting wrenches because i did uh i got a couple more auction vehicles out here that uh i'll do a video on later but um you can see it over there i got two jeeps two jeep patriots um one of the engine cradles was robbed out and it would have been nice to have a full set of ratcheting wrenches so now i do these things are real nice, too. But anyway, back to the point at hand. So, toolbox. There it is. Uh, I mean, this thing is full. This, this is fucking heavy. I added this little box here. It'd be nice if they would make one that was longer that had more drawers. Yes, I know it's not meant to go on the top. But this, so the bottom box is 72 inch. Um, so these, I guess, aren't made for 72 inch boxes. Grab my Milwaukee light here. Um, so the mounting holes, see, you see there's mounting holes down here at the bottom, um, to bolt it to your main box, but on the 72 inch box, you know, you have your holes here, which are for the handles down below, there's no mounting holes to mount it. So you could hang that box on the edge like I did over there. Um, but there's no bolts, so it would, it would work. It would be fine. But, um. So obviously I can't put it there because the door's there. And I didn't want it on the bottom over here because A, I'd have to empty this top toolbox to be able to slide it over enough to get this on the lip. There's a lip on each side. Um, but then you can see where that is in relation to the stove. I didn't want the toolbox down there because in the winter, you'd have to be down here right in front of the stove to get in there. And the drawers would hit the toolbox. Um, let me unlock this. So, let's see how that close that bottom drawer comes to the pellet stove. Put this way, key in here. Unlock that. See, it hits the stove. It doesn't, you can't fully extend it. You got probably two, take a tape measure to it. So you got four inches, just about. So if I put this down there, I'd have to move my stove. Um, so that's fine for this one. I might move the stove over like an inch or two, but my pipe is you know, straight up and down now. So the bottom one is the only one that hits. Top one clears with space. That worked, worked out pretty good. Um, so what I did was I took, I mean, this looks like shit right now. I'll clean it up eventually, but we're not. So I took this top, I took a cutoff disc, and I went down the middle. So right over here, I took a cutoff disc right down the middle, just like that. And then I uh, took a hammer, and I hammered this side over um, just enough to where I could get some of these welding duck pliers in there and then I just worked my way back and forth back and forth 
from this end of that end and back, just tightening the vice grips up a little bit, squeezing it down, squeezing it down till I got that lip. So it's a doubled up lip right there. And that fits in there nice and snug. Um, and then what I did to reinforce the side, because there's this bracket right here. I just threw a couple welds in there. Yeah, they're not good welds. The gun barely fit, so don't bitch. Um, but all it needs to do is function, and that's what it does. It doesn't need to look pretty. It's inside the toolbox. Um, so I was able to do that and reinforce that side so that it's not just flimsy sheet metal. Why they don't don't didn't already have that welded to this side, I don't know. Probably cheaping out because of cost. But anyway, there we go. Um, so I'll just put like a, probably just put some rubber cover over this or something so it's not exposed. But as you can see, it fits fine. And my personally, I would rather have the drawers on the top of the toolbox up here than on the bottom. But that's up to you. But now you can see how you can add one of these side boxes to the top if you want to. Um, I'm not worried about it being top heavy or flipping over just because all of your weight is downward and it's on the side. And the bottom toolbox has plenty of weight in it. It's, it's not going to flip over. It would be nice. I'll probably maybe take this drawer out um, and maybe throw some self tappers in or something just to give it more support. But I honestly don't think it needs any lateral support. This up here for what this toolbox is going to have in it for weight. Um, you know, they reinforced this top edge. So, you know, that should hold just fine because it, it'll, it'll get weighted and it'll push up against the side of the toolbox. Um, so yeah, so that's the U S general, uh, series two, 72 inch box, 52 inch top. It would also be nice if they made a 72 inch top, um, because you could put one of these on the other side as well off the top side if you wanted. Um, but they don't make a 72 in the U.S. general. They just make that in the Icon, which I think is, that stuff's just way overpriced. Um, all right, everybody, but thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.